It's me again. I know, you're excited. So am I. Because guess what? We're going to paint again. You guys are probably so sick and tired of being inside. <clears throat> Those of you who have been cooped up forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Today we're going to paint a crab. Because I'm sure your attitudes reflect that image. So, anyway, here's my little palette. On my palette, we have the primaries again. We got yellow, yellow, white, blue, and red. And then we have brown and green, and this is a yellow ochre. This is going, this is our 11 by 14 canvas. We have all our fun brushes again. We're gonna take our big one here. And we're gonna start with some white. And this is the elusive paper towel, extremely hard to come by right now, but if you don't have one, you can use the also common rag. So you're going to take your brush and take some white. And you're going to do some of that yellow ochre. If you don't have yellow ochre, you can use brown and white and mix it. And you're gonna go across like this. I'll move this right here. Let me see. Yeah, here we go. I don't have anything that I'm drawing from today. I've done a lot of crabs. I know. I don't have crabs. I didn't say that. I said I've done a lot of crabs. Okay. This is going to be our sandy little background. I'm going to take some brown. So you just kind of mix it up like this. Oh, oh, you screwed it up. No, you didn't. Don't worry about it. You can always take some more of that yellow ochre, but like if you don't have it, like I said, some yellow. Throw some more white in it. And you want it to be kind of uneven. You want this to be wet. Have to be super wet. Once again, we're going to paint the edges. Okay. Just grab this some white, throw that on there. This isn't super critical, people. <clears throat> it's not rocket science. I want you to forget about all that crap that's going on outside. All those ridiculous. Okay, how many people died today reports, okay? I'm not trying to belittle it. I'm not saying it's not important. I'm just saying sometimes you just gotta forget about it. Or you'll go completely insane. There. this nice background <clears throat> that's starting to look like sand. Some yellow, some yellow ochre. This yellow ochre is kind of nice. I, I do recommend adding it to your collection if you don't have it because you can do a lot with it. And then you can go different directions if you want. You can swap hands if you want. This is like if you're looking down in the water and you see the sand, like if you've gone to the beach and you're standing out in the water and it's only about six or seven inches deep or so, <clears throat> and you stand there and you see the crabs, happens to scoop by you and give you a thrill. If you get that close to one of these lovely blue crabs, you're probably going to run away because your mean little devils. So you don't feel so bad when you eat one because they can be evil. Okay, so now you have this nice kind of yellowy background and white. What I'm going to do now is you're going to just add a little dark and light to it here and there. Kind of make it more interesting. Okay. Like this. Feather it. Okay. 
light touch again, like I told you people, light touch. Okay, now you can take <clears throat> a smaller flat brush, like this. Take some of this yellow. You want to take a little red. Okay, you can do this and mix it together, maybe a little more brown. That's white. So you get kind of this, there's some yellow ochre in there. It's a lovely day outside. It's nasty, just rainy, gross, ugly day. If you hear thunder in the background, well, yeah, it's not an added special effect. It's just a natural special effect. And so, anywho, you can kind of do this if you want. You don't have to. I like to make one edge of the canvas lighter and darker than the other. You can kind of just go across like this. Think about sand. Sand kind of does this as the water hits it. So you can kind of do this number. Because this is going to look like sand. This guy's scooting around on his sand. Okay. So if you hold this brush sideways like this, same brush, I haven't added any paint to it. And they'd be closer down here, for example, as they go farther up. And you can leave these little weird spots, make them not all the way across. Can I do this with it? Okay. If you want to get a couple like little dark spots on it, take some brown, like so, some white. Kind of dab it like this. These are darker because they're deeper little rivets in the sand. I got a wobbly easel. It's okay. It's another special 3D effect. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's white. Oh no, just do this. Don't worry about it. I think that background is almost done. You can add to it later. If you want to put a couple little blotches like this in it just to make it a little more interesting, you can. You don't have to. Boom. We're going to stop now and you're going to take a little paint break. After you want to go drink some wine, that's up to you. If you're under 21, no. You're going to go do something else. But or if you've got, you know, you got to go watch TV and find out how horrible things are, don't do that. Think about the crab. This is what you're going to do. You're going to do this lovely little blue crab. So when your painting gets to this point, now you can stop, go take a little break, let this paint dry, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to print that, how to paint the crab. Welcome back, part two. I know you're as excited as I am. Okay, our little paint has dried, and I'm pulling up a picture on my phone because I've done this, this little crab a zillion times, but I just wanted to show you what he looks like. I don't know if you can see him very well on the phone, but we're going to be dealing with blues, greens, red, and some little browns, so if you have any aqua paint that you can use that too. Um, like this. You don't have to though. You can use kind of green and white and throw a little blue in there. But basically we're going to get, let's see, let's go with this round brush like this. This is a number eight round brush like we used in the last happy little painting. If you, if you watched my last one, it's pretty simple. So we're going to take this aqua, this blue, we're going to make this kind of neat little bluish color. 
And then is there's this color that we had left over in here, I'm going to use some of that too because we're going to do kind of lay out the... What I like to do is water down this paint so it's kind of thin. Not a lot of color in it, just enough. And we're going to do our little outline. Now a crab is shaped kind of like this. Think about, he's got those little pointy dudes that come out on him, okay? And we're going to make him a little bigger, so let's go like this. That's the nice thing when you're doing this. If you don't, if you don't like it, then you know what? Let's go bigger. You're kind of just doing the outline right now. And then the back of the crab is kind of shaped like this, comes down and goes up. Okay, now we're going to take some aqua and some green and we're kind of using this. And remember the brush stroke is just as important as the color of the paint. Okay, and one thing about crabs is they have this little um, points on the front of them. They're really pointy little devils. So if you have this wonderful little brush, it's going to do a lot of the work for you because you're going to make let it do the points like this. Okay. And they're going to come out on either side like this. Boom. Boom, 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 and then boom. And yes, sound effects are very important. The snarkiness is free, just like this whole demo, this whole hang along is free. I know, it's like an extra bonus, you know? Because you're probably sitting there going, I can't do this. I can't, I, you know what? I'm tired of hearing about your whiny, I can't do it stuff. Get your brush out and try it. Worst thing that happens, it looks like a blob. You go back, you redo the blob. Look at your blob. Look, what's the shape of your blob? Everything is broken down into shapes. See the shape? You're looking at just the shape of the carapace or the shell of the crab. They're like bugs underwater, okay? Really, bugs that taste really good. So, they have like these little eye thingies that come up. Well, I can't remember the name of them. Okay, like that too. And you know, it's okay to leave the little brush strokes in here. Kind of looks kind of neat. We're just going to do that. See, now you have the shape of the body. So if you want to just take a look at that and go, oh yeah, okay. Now, crabs have legs. They have one, a set of claws. I know, it's hard to believe they have legs. How do they get around? Yeah. They have their two big sets of claws. They have their paddle. These are blue crabs. They're swimming, blue swimming crabs. And the reason why they're called blue swimming crabs, yeah, yeah, guess what, they swim. If you ever seen them actually swim on the top of the water at night, especially under the lights, off the piers, you'll see them. They'll come up and grab unsuspecting shrimp and then eat them, they're vicious monsters. Thank goodness they don't get that big. Okay, so we're gonna do a back leg here. Their back, like, look how big that is. What? It's like a paddle. That's how they propel themselves when they swim around. And then this side, we're going to do the same thing. He's got his other one on this side. And they have segments in their legs. So you're going to do them in little segments like this. Okay. There we go. This guy's got his legs quite close together. You can spread them farther apart. You know, depending on how he's swimming. And now we're going to do the, um, well, let's do the claws. They're fun. Okay, so we're going to take this aqua, some white, or if you don't have aqua, just do green and white and throw some blue in there. We're going to throw some more blue. And they have their, their claws, depending on whether they're male or female, okay, are completely different colors. And if you ever want to remember which one's a male, which one's a female, the female has the red claws, like we say, she's got the painted nails. So that's how you remember which one's which. So we're going to make a female 
because she's just prettier. We're going to come out with this big leg here. Once again, another segment here. And then this big claw. It kind of comes around like this. See? Actually, their claws aren't quite as big, but they have a lot more color. And then there's the claw part. Okay. And then the bottom. Take your round brush and do this. And then you're going to come out from the end and come in here like this. And don't worry about the red right now. Don't freak out. Okay. There's one claw. I'm going to take the other side. And this one, she's kind of like cruising for a bruising. She's out there looking for something to eat. And then this one kind of comes right here. And then this one comes around like this. And this part is like long and skinny. I know Crab Anatomy 101. And then the under part of the crab claw like this. Okay. Now it's starting to kind of sort of look like a crab. The top part is a little bigger like this. And then this bottom. Well, here's these legs, you can make them a little more heavy duty if you want. It's your crab, not mine. Okay, then they have three legs. You see they have one, two, three, four. They're basically one, two, three, four. You got all these legs, so yeah, let's just do this. These skinny legs come out from here. And then they're going to come out like this. And then the bottom is kind of like a little point. It goes like that. Kind of hard to see. Let me make it a little darker so you can see it. Like this. And this. And this. Boom. And then this one is going to say, let's go the other direction like this. And it's, it's going to be kind of doing this thing. Going this way. Now look, I just painted over that point. Don't freak out. You can just go back over it. And don't worry, because you're going to go back over it. <sighs> don't worry. Don't worry. Remember, you need to forget about all this other stuff except what you're working on right now. This is what's important. Nothing else. Okay. There's another leg. There's another leg right here. And it's going to go this way. Okay. And then we're going to have one more leg over here, like this, and like this, and there's a little bit in front, like that. Okay, and then maybe we're going to have another one right here, like this, and like this. Same thing, curling around, okay? And now you can kind of go back over this stuff that you just did and just start adding some more color to it. Now that you've laid down your background, add some blue in there. These crabs are kind of blue and there's all kinds of crazy colors in them. It's your crab too, if you want to make it different colors, throw some more white in there with some blue. This one is kind of a, a, once again, these fast paintings like this are kind of impressionistic. So the colors are not like 100% accurate or whatever you want it to be. Because why? It's your impression of this crap. Okay, we're going to take this little flat brush again. This is the uh, number 12 flat. Okay. Take this aqua. We're going to throw a little of this green in here. Like here, let me hold it up so you can see what I'm doing. Like this. And then you're going to kind of come in here and do this. Just dab it on here. Dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab. Like this. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see. We got this funky, funky, fresh crab. Look at this, huh? 
And now we're going to take the smaller brush, the skinny one, the liner, which is what, a number one liner, I think. Anyway, we take this and we're going to take some red. I'm going to mix it in with this and that kind of gives it a brownish, reddish tinge. We're going to start doing her nails right here. Now the top is going to be darker than the bottom. You can just take that same color and add some white to it. And do these little blobs. Okay. In fact, you just take straight white and throw it on there. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then you can kind of come up here and do some funky fresh highlights. Okay. Lots of people like crabs, especially here. Of course, crabs are like, the blue crab is the, like the official mascot, unofficial mascot of Rockport, so you have to just kind of understand that. So she's got some highlights here. We're gonna just put it on here like this. And you don't want these things to be perfect. They don't wanna be all straight across and regimented and perfect, because that is just so boring. Straight, normal, straight, boring, nobody likes that. You can take some yellow, mix it in there with that red, make it a little brighter if you want. Come up, ooh, look at that. Kind of do this. Let's see, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, look at that. Okay, now we're going to throw some darker, rinse that brush off, and we're going to take some green and blue that's fairly dark. You could even mix a little brown in with it like this. These are going to be our darker areas, like right under here, okay, around where the legs come off the shell and maybe around the edges a little like this because, you know, closer to the shell it's going to be a little dark. like you're outlining it a little bit, but not really. You're just kind of doing little dark areas. Because it's farther, it's underneath the crab shell, kind of his main carapace. There was that word again. You learned a word today if you didn't already know it. So now if you go on some stupid game show and they ask you what the shell of the crab is called, you can know carapace. Maybe $25,000. Don't feel like you're obligated to give me any of that money because I taught you that word. That's okay. Here. So we're going to go over here like this. See? Ooh. Ah. E. I'm going to take some red and put it on there. You know? You don't have to. It's your crab. You decide. I just want it to stand out a little more. Same with these points here. I'm going to take some of this green and this red and kind of do this number with it. Okay. And here's the little eyes. Ooh. Ah. kind of a real fast and easy little crab. There. And then you can take and highlight them, do the opposite. Take some of the aqua, some of the white, and then maybe come up in here and throw some highlights on it. Yeah, just to make it interesting. Like this. And then I'm going to take some of this green and yellow <coughs> up here. Throw that on here. Look at that. Oh. 
is they have like these plates on their back, which is kind of interesting. Okay. And you can use a different brush if you want, rather than this one. It's up to you. If you want to use a wider brush, there. And let's see. His shell needs uh, just a little bit more color. So let's take that round brush again, that green one. Wash it off. We're going to take some of this kind of greenish aqua tealy color, mix it with some yellow, maybe some more yellow. There we go. And just kind of blob it on here. And it's kind of neat if you want to make the paint thicker, you can, and just leave it blobby. It's up to you. Maybe you like blobby, maybe you don't. Okay. Alright, I'm just kind of just doing this easy peasy type. Boom, 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 boom. And some here, some there, right there, right there. So now he's got some interesting colors to it. Okay, so now you have your basic crab, but then this crab is boring, he's kind of like floating, right? He doesn't look like he, he's really there. He's there, but he's not like really there. So in order to make him look like he's really there, he needs a shadow. In shadow, we're going to take blue and maybe a little of this brown. And if you want to put a touch of green in there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, here's okay. Your light is coming down. Lights. You got to figure out. Okay, where's the light coming from? Let's say it's coming from here, right? So he's gonna have a shadow right about here. Let's just do this. Okay, it's gonna be like this, and it's gonna come all the way over here like this. And the nice thing about this is you, you can thin it out, see, because shadows don't have to be super dark. They can, they can be lighter. And then, like, you're going to have another one right here, like this, where this other leg is, right? And it's going to come underneath this crab, and then under the crab itself, right here, and then under here, you're going to have this. Same with this one, we're going to have a shadow like this. Just think of this, and it's kind of like you're doing a smaller version of it, only it's like right here, like this, okay? You're thinking, okay, now my crab has 28 legs. No, no, don't freak out, don't, don't freak out. You just go like this, okay, okay, there's another one, but these are all shadows. walking in the sand too and they kind of when they do this so when he does that he's going to stir up some sand so he's going to have this kind of thing going on all the way down here where he came from so you stand back and look at it and all of a sudden it's like wow it looks like he really is walking you want to make it even more 3d you take that blue and that brown make it darker okay and then right under the edge here like this okay, see that's gonna be where there's probably the least amount of light so you can kind of darken it up there So what is he doing? Why is he running? He's right in the middle of his canvas. You're going, oh my god, how boring that is. That composition sucks. You're right. The way it is right now, it kind of does. So, we're going to make it a little less boring. We're going to take some of this lovely kind of bluish, silvery aqua color. We're going to do some little fish right here. 
little fish, when you look down at them, are kind of shaped like a little oblong. Just like a little tail coming off like that. See? And there's another one. They don't swim along, you know. These little fish are very social little creatures like this. And they're not all going exactly the same direction. It's like this. There's a little dorsal fin. It's like that. See? Because he's going to terrorize these little fish. He's going to chase them down. He's going to kill them. He's going to eat them because he's a vicious monster of the deep. There's one. You can just see part of him up here. He's the smartest one. He's already gone. Let's see? This is the stupidest one right over here. Well, I shouldn't say stupid. He's just not as informed. Okay. He's like getting too close. Yeah, and so these fish also have shadows because, so we're going to take some white, throw some white on there and make them a little more opaque. Okay, you know what opaque means? Uh, Semi-translucent, not really translucent. You want to make them look a little thicker. Okay, because you're going to throw a shadow under them and the shadow is going to be more transparent. We're going to take some of that same color, water it down so it's pretty thin, and then look at the angle once again. Here's the little fishy shadow. It's going to be down here like this. And they're not going to be perfect shadows. The shadows are, are not really perfect. Like this. See? Now all of a sudden, it looks like the fish is swimming just above the water. I mean, the bottom in the water. He's not just laying there on the bottom waiting to die. So these are things you can add. And then the same thing, you take that same gray and come over here and kind of add some interesting little things going on. We have those riblets underneath, remember? You can add a little to that. Because he's kind of scooch, scooch, scooching along here. Scooch, scooch, scooching. He's just about done. If you want to throw a couple more fish up here, you can because maybe there's some other fish that came over to watch and then they realized this wasn't a smart thing. Like, um, you know what, maybe we should be. go up here. It just makes it a little more interesting to look at. And I don't like to do even numbers of anything. I can't help it. I guess it's all that art history I took. But, Threes, fives, twos, threes. We only have one crab, yes, but we've got stuff going on here, you got stuff going on here, you got stuff going on here. So your eye is moving like this. You're not just going, oh yeah, okay, I'm done. No, you look and then you look and then you see more stuff. You can even put little things down here, like, okay, maybe there's a little seashell down here, okay? You don't know what that is. It's something in there. It could be a sand crab, you know. You could put, maybe there's a fish over here. You know, maybe there's something, part of a sand dollar hanging out. You do like that. All of a sudden now there's an edge of a sand dollar under the sand. You don't know. It's your painting. Think about it. It's at the beach. A place you may not be able to go right now because they said, no, you can't go. Okay, fine. I will go in my mind. I will go in my pain. You can't stop me. So there's a little sand crab or a sand dollar right here, you see? He's buried partially under the sand. So then you're going to take some sand and put the sand over him like this. See? You can add all kinds of things to make it more interesting. It gets to the point where you think it's done. Stop. Get up. Take a look at it. You don't like it, come back and work on it later if you think it's done. Boom. You're going to sign it, seal it, deliver it, you're done. The world's fastest swimming blue crab painting ever. Boom. No, not ever. I may have done one in less time than this, but this one's close. Except I can't write my name once again. Almost, almost. Ooh. Wait. See, 
see, you never saw Bob Ross paint a blue swimming crab in this length of time, did you? No, he didn't do blue crabs. Paint it, well, you know. There you go, boom. Voila. Your very own blue crab painting that you can do the same thing in the same length of time.